now the YouTube I am the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Moon Quest. Yes. We're on uh, episode 5 now. We started last episode on some machines, but I just want to uh, show you guys. I'm currently in a dev version of Moon Quest. You won't be able to get this version just yet because I'm still testing things out, but I have gone ahead and I've added in mechanism. I thought, you know what guys, it's about time that we added some mechanism in because some of this stuff just lends itself to mechanism whereas you know we, we, we're losing some of this stuff and to be quite honest I really do think that Yoxcast already have it in because they're mining osmium ore so that is part of mechanism I honestly think that they've already got that in they've just not said it to anybody so I as you can see look at these energy cubes people have been saying to me about energy storage they've been saying, telling me about heat uh, about power generation stuff like that well I'll tell you something, Mechanism adds a ton of this. And also, the Enrichment Chamber, which will allow you to effectively double your ores. We'll get to all that at some point soon. I need some more, uh, some more lava. But while I'm going to go down here, I want to show you what I've been doing off camera. Of course, you can see that my hammer has taken a bit of battering from a durability there. Um, and I want to do something to that hammer a little bit later on. But as you can see, guys... Oh, man, this is great. Right, let's... Uh Go and grab as much uh, lava as we possibly can. Look at this. I've been absolutely ripping the hell out of this landscape and totally going mad with my hammer, which I think is fantastic. And I will... Have I just gone back on myself? Oh, shit. Am I lost? No. I went down the wrong bit, that's what. Um, so, yes, guys. As you can see, we've uh, we've got a ton of lava. We've got a ton of resources now. And I want to, uh, to use some of those resources to further... My uh, my toolage. I want a bit more toolage. I want to make sure that my hammer's not going to be running out anytime soon. So I want to try and repair that as much as I can, and also add a couple of um, a couple of upgrades onto that particular hammer. So why don't we go upstairs, uh, eat some more cookies because we've got tons of those things. Um, oh cookies because that's of course you, that's what you want first thing in the morning is just a a nice face full of cookies. To, uh, to keep yourself going. Right, lava, lava. Now, I'm not quite sure if there's a visual glitch or something involved in this at all, but uh, I'm confused. Um, oh, it must be actually full then inside there. It doesn't say anything. This is a, 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 a recommended version of, um, of this. Right, we've got a ton of iron here, so we're going to actually just slip it in there. Um, love it and leave it. As we move on, look at that. We're going to love it and leave it. Um, did I, have I got my shears on me? I really should make a habit of bringing my shears with me. Because making sure that that sheep is nicely sheared at all times is, uh, is certainly something that we need to do. So where's my shears? Oh, I've got two shears. I've got two sets of shears. I don't know how the hell I've managed to end up with two. But still, we're going to go inside here and we're going to quickly shut the gate. We're going to gather all that. We're going to leave it to its own devices and put this back in this chest whilst I figure out exactly what I want to do next. I've got ten pieces there. Now, I did manage to find a piece of diamond. I want, however, I want to get some uh, some emerald because I want to upgrade my, um, my, my most amazing hammer ever, Mark. Oh yeah, and a creeper blew up outside here. I couldn't stop it. I just could not stop it, guys. It was unfortunate, but it was just one of those things. So I want to put diamond on this thing. Now, it goes from 8,774 durability to 9,274. Um, it doesn't increase its speed, or it doesn't increase its attack damage or anything. It just allows me to get uh, another... What's that? Is it 500? Actually, that's not a great deal, is it? Is that really worth it? Is that really worth it? Yeah, let's grab that. Durability plus 500. We do want um, emerald, though. Is there a way of making emerald? Just out the top of my head. Is there a way of making emeralds? No. There's absolutely no chance of making emeralds. We've got to go and find a biome that will give us emeralds. I'm going to go and sleep for the night, guys, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do in the morning. Okay, guys, so I want to build the NASA workbench. That is the start of trying to get into space. Now, there's a lot of more, there's a lot more work that needs to be done, of course. Um, so I want to actually 
get myself these compressed steels. And I can't do that until I've got myself these advanced wafers, really. I, you know, and that's where the circuit fabricator comes in. And of course I needed diamonds. I've got diamonds now. This coal generator is not brilliant and I'm going to look to want to get some more kind of uh, power generation going on. However, the, uh, the way that it works, let's go, uh, I would like to get a heat generator. That's one of the things that I would like to get, the heat generator from Mechanism. Now, this is actually going to require some osmium ingots. Now, I'm going to have to go to newly generated chunks to be able to get to the osmium. Um, so, you know, me and my hammer, we're going to be pretty busy. However, enriched iron requires manganese alloy. Now, look how you get manganese alloy. Apparently, you smelt dirt. This makes no sense to me. Now, usually I, what I would say is, you know what, guys, I think this is an actual recipe conflict. However... The fact that it is dirt that it's asking you to smelt makes absolutely no sense to me because if it's it's clearly asking for the block ID for number three, which is dirt. Now that's that's part of vanilla Minecraft, which doesn't make sense. I'm thinking that this dirt is maybe a placeholder for something else in the future, possibly manganese. Uh, however, you get manganese alloy. I'm not quite sure. Maybe you've got to smelt something with something else. I really don't know. I think this is just a placeholder, and this uh, this recipe is probably going to be changing in the future. So the heat generator basically runs off lava, and it's it's a really really easy source of power to get. However, if I put it in here, I'd probably burn the whole fucking place down. So I'm definitely not going to do that because uh, it runs off, like I said, lava and. Uh, yeah, so we're going to stick with the coal generator for the moment. We're going to want that NASA workbench. So let's get on with that, shall we? Uh, advanced wafer is a diamond. We're going to need a redstone repeater, redstone, a couple of raw silicons. Um, I think we've got pretty much everything to be able to do that. We just need the redstone repeater, which is going to require some stone. And uh, some... Where's my redstone? Where's my redstone? Oh, there it is. There is my redstone. I was worried for a second there. Now, I did chop a tree down, guys, which is why I've got some wood in my inventory. I believe it's a couple of bits of uh, redstone torch, like that, like that, and like that. Is it? Yes, it is. Brilliant. I remembered the actual recipe of that. A um, couple of bits of raw silicon, a diamond. Is that it? Yeah, and a bit of redstone in the circuit fabricator. Now, we're going to require some coal, actually, as well. Quite a bit of coal. We're going to let it get up to full speed because if we don't let it get up to full speed, this thing will just cut out before it's even got there. So let's go ahead and chuck a couple of bits of coal in there. I don't know just how much coal you'd need, really. But this is more than enough to power this one machine. The whole heat needs to rise to 100% before it'll actually generate anything. So... And boosh, there we are. We are generating kilowatts, and this actually requires five kilowatts to be able to, uh, you know, work properly. So once this gets up to five, we can put this stuff in here, and we won't lose power as we're crafting. I think, oh, it's actually running through that quite, quite a, a fair rate of knots. Here we are. Right, we're getting get up to five now. So let's stick that in there. Let's stick that in there. Let's stick that in there. Um, a couple of bits of raw silicon. And there we are, we are crafting now, we're not losing any power as we are crafting, which is a good sign that, uh, you know, we're doing our stuff. Look at that, it generates uh, quite a bit. We only need the one, but we do need to make compressed steel, so we're going to need a compressor. That can also run off coal, that's an advanced wafer, great stuff. But instead of just going for the one compressor, the normal compressor, I want to get the electric compressor. But we're going to need to uh, get some compressed stuff first. We're going to need a compressor anyway, um, which means we're going to need one of these basic wafers, which means we're going to need a redstone torch, a couple of raw silicons. So we're going to need some more stuff, basically. Um, that's not generating any power now, so it's pretty much screwed over there. We're going to have to heat it up again. If I'd have thought about it, guys, I'd have been all right, but I didn't think about it, so we're not. Um... Right, basic wafer requires another diamond. Holy shit. We're going to need two of these, are we? Nope, just the one. We're going to need just the one basic wafer. We've got everything we need to be able to make that now. Uh, stick a bit of coal in there. I think three pieces should be enough. A couple of raw silicons. The redstone. 
the redstone torch, and of course the diamond. But we'll wait until this is actually heated up first, otherwise it will just suck all the power up and we won't get anywhere. We will just won't get anywhere in life. So we want the we want to get the cold the uh, the normal compressor first before we can move on to the electric one. It's much better to get the electric one, of course, because um, yeah, it just is. It just is because we can eventually we'll be able to actually store this energy. So yeah, right. This should be enough now. We're going to run out of power. Or are we going to be running out of power? Oh, we're not actually. By the looks of things. Oh, well, that's good. That's good news. We're going to need a, an anvil. One copper, six aluminium. We've got all that stuff. Absolutely no problem there. Three basic wafers from that. Okay, I didn't realise it actually uh, used that amount. How are we doing on ingots? Oh my god, we have got we've got tons. We've got absolutely tons. We've got just so happened to have six uh, thingies as well. Now, are we done in inside here? We are indeed. Let's go ahead and take that copper now and shove the copper in there, ready and waiting to uh, to get smelted up doubled because we're like that you see right, there's one we need uh, three of them for an anvil don't we brilliant okay compressor anvil it's three boxes of iron four iron we've got that there we are good stuff uh, we just don't have a copper there we are Grab that stuff, copper, basic wafer, anvil, uh, aluminium on either side with an anvil at the top. And there is the coal powered compressor. And there is night time. Quick, let's sleep. Whoa, I just like launched myself into bed. As you do, we're a, we've had a productive day. So what's, what's better? What's better after a productive day than absolutely launch yourself into bed? That's a good idea. That. Now we're going to put it here as a placeholder for the electric compressor as well, because eventually we'll move on to the electric compressor. So, to make the NASA workbench, let's get back to that again. We're going to need compressed steel, which means we're going to need steel. We're going to need eight steel. Have we got eight steel? If we haven't, I'm sure it'll be easy to get to it. Hey, hey there's some I crafted earlier. Good stuff. I knew I was crafting some. I was actually going to go ahead and, and repair my most amazing hammer ever mark one with that, but uh, I decided not to bother. There we are. Is one piece of coal going to do that? I don't know. Um, oh, actually, yeah. No, it probably isn't. A couple of bits of coal might. Oh, no, it might actually do that. Yeah, I think it will. So far, compressed steels then, guys. Um, a crafting table, a couple of... We could actually make the NASA workbench in this episode. How amazing would that be? I, I'll tell you, I'll answer it for you. That would be fucking ledge. Right, so let's have a look. We need a redstone torch, a couple of levers, and a crafting table. It's uh, actually some cobblestone I've come back in for. Because I've got everything else on me. Which makes a change. So, uh, we've got the redstone torch. It's only the one, isn't it? Yeah. Couple of levers. Crafting table. Amazing. We've got all the stuff that we need to be able to craft the NASA workbench. There we go. I'll definitely take them off your hands. We've got we've got this in here. That there. Them there. That there. And oh man! Look at that! Well, I don't know if we've got enough room in here. Oh, apparently we do, but we're going to have to dodge past it every time we want to get out the door. Um, so yeah, this is this room is getting a little bit cramped. We're going to have to sort something out in between episodes, I think. Um, oh, what's this? Unlock schematic. New schematic slot. You can find schematics by completing dungeons on planets and moons. Okay, that's interesting. Tier 1 rocket. Um, got some green slots up here. Got an orange slot here. Got uh, more slots here. Not quite sure how to use that. Um, does it... Tier 1 rocket. Ah, okay. Heavy duty plates. We need some rocket fins. We're going to need a nose cone, a tier 1 rocket engine. And that will give us the tier 1 rocket. Oh, man. But, you know, not only do we need rockets, we need, you know, the stuff to go along with it. We need uh, all the oxygen and stuff. Uh, all that kind of stuff, guys. All that kind of stuff. 
I make a habit of just coming here and shearing that sheep because we're going to need a ton of wool, especially for the uh, the uh, wires and stuff. Clean all this stuff out. Okay, guys, so I've got something in mind. This is the brand new Tinker's Construct. It's the brand new recommended Tinker's Construct, which comes with the helmet cast, the chest plate cast, leggings cast, and the boots cast. I'm going to want to actually try to make um, quite a bit of uh, this because I want a full steel set of armor. Um, that, I think, would be a great idea. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Given the amount of iron we've got, there's absolutely no problem with steel. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and smelt a whole stack of iron up into uh, into steel. Because we're going to use a lot of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The buckets can go back in the chest over here. And uh, these pieces of wood can... Oh, why have I got you in there? You shouldn't be in there. Another stack of iron. Just so happened to be lying around there that I put in the wrong place. Okay. Great stuff. So all this steel, I want to obviously turn into uh, in, into uh, the the thing is. So I need a helmet cast. It apparently requires a wooden helmet. So I think a wooden helmet, you know, is not a way, you know, out of our bounds, out of our reaches. It's not how you craft a wooden helmet anymore. How do you craft a wooden helmet? Oh, it's an actual wood. Oh crap. Oh well, looks like we're going to go have to go out and uh, chop down some of these trees. Or one of these trees. That'll do. Don't worry, I will replant it after myself. As always. Oh, sounds like a zombie on a crack. Somewhere. And boosh. Eventually that falls down. And uh, we can go and grab the acacia sapling. Get it replanted. And uh, clean up after ourselves. Brilliant. Right. Got the stuff we need for a wooden helmet. In fact, should I go with a chest plate first? I think I should. I think I should go with a chest plate first if I can. Probably uh, requires the most. Actually, does it? Isn't it the boots that requires the least amount of work and uh, gives you a good amount of hearts? So, we're going to want a boots cast. So, I hope that uh, this is f finished now. Certainly looks like it to me. Let's go ahead and take these ingot casts out. Plonk them there. And uh, turn this off. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to want aluminium brass now. I'm going to go ahead. I'm sure I've got an ingot left. Just one solitary ingot left. Or maybe not. I'm going to need three... Per one. I don't think... Does that actually work in the smell tree? I'm not quite sure. Four of them. Well, if it doesn't, we'll soon find out. And I can always change it. Let's uh, grab my pick. Yep, nothing in here. Brilliant. Does that work in here? Certainly does. Maybe that's a nice change. I might be able to take out the thing. So we've got uh, one copper and three aluminium. Is it that way around? I could swear it is. If, it, if not, I'm going to look silly. Yeah, three aluminium, one copper. Brilliant. That'll do me quite nicely. Put you back on the shelf. And uh, let's go and sleep, actually, while it's doing its business. I can only sleep at night, which is only seconds away. Come on, chuck yourself into bed again. Hey! Hey! No, no, come on. Come on, bedtime. Yep. No. It's not having it. It's not chucking me into bed. There we are. Good stuff. All right, let's go and uh, make myself some steel stuff. Which is going to be awesome. Right. Eight in aluminium brass is in there. Let's get the wooden boots on there. Let's get pouring out. Why can I not pour it out? Does it not work yet? Boots cast. Molten aluminium brass. 1,440 millibuckets. What is that then? Is it not eight ingots? Is it more than eight ingots? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly have no clue. 
let's go and try and smelt some more up and hopefully we can get some. It probably is more than eight ingots, you know. Uh, aluminium, let's just go and grab a load. We can always turn it into ingots that we get again afterwards, can't we? There we are, three and one of each. That should be enough. Um, I'm not quite sure how much in millibuckets that actually is. Leggings is, is exactly the same, chest plates exactly the same. In fact, they're all exactly the same. Apparently, we can do that. It allows us to. Nine aluminium, come on copper, you let me down here. All right, so moment of truth. No, still nothing. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? How much does it actually take to do this? Am I doing it totally? Oh, you know what? I, I'm not doing it in a basin. That's my problem. I'm not doing it in a basin. Oh, shit. Casting table, you can come with me. I need a basin, guys. Where's my seared bricks? Have I got enough seared bricks, that is? Well, there's some. Oh, I just I happen to have some seared bricks on me as well. So let's get a basin. I can't believe it. Casting basin. It's right there. It was on the thing. I just never saw it. So we need our wooden boots. Can we put wooden boots in here? We can. There we are. That's better. That's obviously uh, nine ingots. Nine ingots worth going into there. We do have enough. We're not going to be short. There we are. Brilliant. The cast is gone. There's the boots cast. Oh man, yes. Get in. Could put that in there and then... Oh man, yes. This is good. This is good. But we do have four ingots left though, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and uh, grab these four out. And then we have nine ingots of molten steel. I don't know if that's exactly what we need, but we're certainly going to try and find out. Oh, where are you? Come on, surely you, you, you're okay with this. Sure, you don't need more, surely. Surely you don't need more than nine. Let's put in more than nine then. Let's put in 18 just to make double sure. But usually, you know, this fills up with just nine ingots. I'm really surprised that this is not allowing me to... Uh, unless there is no such thing as steel boots. But there is. That, steel boots. Unless you can't do steel boots in a, in a thingy. You might not be able to do just steel boots in here, you know. Could be quite... It could be. I mean, if not, I can always go ahead and make a shitty sword, I suppose. Makes no difference to me. Uh, we do need the cast for it though, so it does make a difference to me actually. Uh, right, we'll wait for this steel alloy to, uh, well, steel ingots to uh, smelt up and give me 18 ingots worth of stuff, and then uh, we'll try and pour it out. If not, then I'm sure I can do it with something else. Uh, boots. What about uh, mechatronic boots? Ooh, that's interesting. Unless we can act, I don't even know if we can still do boots in this yet. It's uh, very much like an in-progress thing. I'm not sure if we can actually do it. Oops. Okay. Right, there's 18 ingots in there. There's no excuse now. Why are you not working? Why you no work? Oh, shit. Maybe we... Uh, I can't see us being having to do it in a... In a on a casting table. I just can't see it. Let's go and give it a try either which way. No. No, certainly not. Certainly not. It's way, way too big. Um, I'm, I'm at a loss, guys. I'm at a loss on this one. Uh, by all means, you can leave your suggestions in the comments section below, but uh, maybe it just doesn't work with steel. I'm not quite sure. We're going to have to turn it all back into ingots, though, and uh, what a waste of fuel. 
And anyway, neither which, neither which, never the mind, never the mind. In between episodes, I may even do a live stream of this, but in between episodes, I will be doing a shit ton of mining, guys, and I will be doing a few bits and bobs with uh, some more tools and stuff so we can get ourselves nicely sorted. For the future, I want to get into a position where we can just build whatever machine we want without worrying about materials, um, and we can do all that kind of stuff, guys. I do have a lot of steel in here, so I'll probably go ahead and, um, you know, repair my repair my hammer up to full strength and hopefully we can find a biome where we can get some emeralds so until next time guys if you enjoyed this please do leave a like it does massively help the series and my new channel uh, which is of course hey Chill, what you're watching it on and until next time stay safe